Today we are going to create a Domino user. Let's begin by starting the Domino Administration Client. Close the welcome screen by clicking the X. Be sure that your administrative server is selected. If the admin server doesn't come up by default, then click the domain icon and select the server, or click on favorites to choose the admin server. Go to People and Groups to select the People view. Notice that in our system, there is nobody in here. Since this is a new environment, we don't have any people yet. In your environment, you should see everyone registered in your system. Let's create our first user. On the right, under Tools, open the People tool list. Click Register, thus displaying the Choose a Certifier dialog box. If your Certifier ID is not displayed, then click the Certifier ID button. Select the certifier you wish to use. In our case, we use our OUUsers.ID file. Click Open takes us back to the Choose a Certifier dialog box where we click OK. Notice the certifier name is displayed. We can hit cancel if we've selected the wrong certifier. Type in your password, then click OK. The register person new entry dialog box is now displayed. Make sure your registration server matches your administrative server. If not, click the registration server button to change the server. Type in the user's first name and last name. In our case, we type user1 and test1. The form auto-populates the short name. Sometimes when registering, the short name will create an error if it matches another user's short name. So make sure this is unique. Give your user a better password than I typed in this field. Under Mail Systems, we have several options to select. Under Version 10 or earlier, leave as IBM Notes, though I'm expecting this to display HCL Notes in the future releases. We don't have a policy that we can assign at this time. We can enable roaming at a later time if required. Roaming is a way to copy key files such as bookmarks, address book, and other files to the server so a user can move from one workstation to another and still retain their files. I used a simple password for this lesson because this is a demo class and all the passwords are the same. I recommend you use a password that is more complex. Click Password Options. The password quality scale is used to determine how difficult the password is to crack. For example, Mississippi has a lower quality score than C8 pound sign A2 ampersand, even though there are more characters. The complexity of the password is what makes it harder to decrypt. We can use this screen to set the internet password to match the Lotus Notes password. I'm going to get an error during registration because my password is not complex enough. I want to leave this unchanged for now. Click OK. Depending upon your system settings, we could click the check mark, then register the users. In our case, click the advanced checkbox. Go to the mail tab. Check that the mail server has the correct server selected. If not, click the mail server button and select the correct server. Note the mail server and the registration server may be different. What mail file template do you want to use? We typically use the latest and greatest. What access should the owner of the mail file typically have? The recommended access is to make everybody editor of their mail file. There may be a rare instance where somebody needs manager access. 
This is typically when the out-of-office is still running as an agent instead of a service. We can set quotas now or later. We can add another person or group as manager of a user's mail file. Selecting the person icon provides us with a list of users and groups we can select. In our case, we're going to add local domain admins to the mail files so the Domino admins can assist users when there is a problem. Keep in mind the impact of this for security. Next, select the address tab. This is where we can set the internet address. So what do we want? In this example, we're using first name, last name. There are other choices. We also get to choose a separator option. I like the dot and underscore separator. In some systems, equal and percent could have an additional meaning in the internet mail address. Enter your internet domain. Autofill is displaying the internet email address on the left. Select the ID Info tab. Here we can control the certificate expiration date. The default is two years. I recommend you leave it at the default. Some organizations change the expiration date to 100 years. What that means is the ID file keys are valid in the system for 100 years. That being said, what happens is now you have a termination group that you have to maintain for 100 years. It's easier to recertify everyone every two years. We want the keys at the highest level. We have North American and International License Type. Make sure you select the one that is appropriate to where you are located or traveling. Many people don't realize that if you travel overseas with your laptop, you need to have an international ID. The ID file location in our case is the Domino directory. My recommendation is to create an ID vault and store your IDs there. One of my favorite features of the ID vault is if you accidentally let an ID expire, you can recertify the user, let the admin process do its thing, then have the user log in again, and the ID file will download with the new certificates. Because this is a class, I'm going to save the ID file out to my drive. Just be careful with this because there's the ID file on the previous screen and there's the password. People can get into the system with this information. Select the group tab. We can use this screen to add users to a specific group to control access to applications or allow others to send emails to an entire group. Since this is a brand new installation, this is going to be our first administrator. We can add them to the local domain admin group. Select the roaming tab. There is nothing on this tab since we didn't select roaming on the basic tab. Select the other tab. Setup profile is an old method of controlling notes desktops. Use policies on the basic tab screen to control the notes desktop. Local administrators become important if you're an international company because some of the folks may have local administrators to work with so you're not fighting with time zones. What is the unique org unit? Occasionally you'll find that two people have the same name. For example, John R. Smith. How do you make them unique? Some places add a number to the end of the name. You can use the unique org unit to add work identifiers to their name so we can separate them. What I mean by that is you can have John R. Smith in sales and one in finance. We can make the two Johns unique by adding their department to their name. If you are using the Active Directory sync with Domino, you can click the Window User Options to help control some Active Directory settings. Let's go back to the Basic tab. Remember we used a simple password? Let's hit the green check mark to add our users to the queue to be registered. We got an error stating our password needed to be of greater complexity. It would be best if you always made the password more complex. However, for our lesson, I'm going to reduce the password quality scale. Why is this a big deal, you may ask? We are setting the complexity for our users when they change the password. By reducing the scale allows them to use simpler passwords that are not safe. OK, after hitting OK, hit the green check mark. You're ready to register your first user. 
You can repeat the previous steps to add additional users to the queue. If you're a larger organization where you may do 20 IDs on the same day, my recommendation is to queue them all up just before lunch, then click the register all button on your way out. Hopefully your machine will be finished before you get back. Clicking the register button will register the selected entry in the queue. This is handy when you are building your queue, but you need to get someone process ASAP. When finished, a dialog box will inform you that the person registered successfully. The registration process will create a person record in the Domino directory, create the user's mail file, and create the ID file. We should go back to the people view and click F9 to see our new user. We open the person record. We can see the user ID file and all the user details. Here are their work and home addresses, corporate hierarchy. The other tab is when the company customizes the address book. The miscellaneous tab, certificate tab, roaming tab, and the administration tab. Congratulations, you have registered your first user. You're ready to move on to other lessons in managing users in a domino environment.